Hello everyone, this is Coder Singh and in this video we will talk about building the recommendation engine. So last time we researched about if we can build the recommendation engine in TensorFlow.js or not. Fortunately or unfortunately, you could say we were not able to find anything. Why, why I would say fortunately because uh, I think so building in TensorFlow.js, like when I was thinking out loud, like, like thinking through, not thinking out loud. Uh, I found out like training on the browser itself could be a very heavy computational task and uh, maybe doing that might cause browsers to slow down and ultimately people would uninstall the plugin but if you feel like there is some potential doing it on the browser feel free to shoot me a message or feel free to sh write a comment and you always have a link to me robot so you can just write the comments over there and we can brainstorm it uh, in the mirror board itself like the pros and cons of it and we can conclude to one pro approach but for the time being i'm going to build the recommendation system engine in python so i'm going to just explore you know what is collaborative filtering what is content-based filtering so what all things are included in content-based filtering let's suppose like user profile is con in content-based filtering and item profile is in content-based filtering but there's you know there's always pros and cons of each approach i think so user profile content based filtering i don't think so we would be um using this because uh, we are not sharing data um, of our users with any other user we are gonna share nothing actually so if it's you and it's your data so it's gonna be like only you have access to that data the models which are built would be on top of that data but like this is my initial thought it might change because of you know we might lack some data or we might need something and i think so in the future we can always give users to pick and choose their models and how they want to share that data with other 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 folks um so yeah i think so the but if i talk about the itemized uh filtering i guess itemized filtering really suits our need uh why because uh, we are doing recommendation like we are building recommendation on top of search items right so search items is nothing but an item based filtering so if you are searching some a lot of content which is similar then we obviously can use those kind of algorithms but if i talk about the collaborative filtering um yeah i don't think so so there is implicit feedback and explicit feedbacks in collaborative um filtering so it's like Explicit feedback would be like uh, giving thumbs up to a user post and uh, implicit feedback could be like giving actually watching uh, a video on YouTube for quite some time and so that's like an implicit feedback like we can assume that you like something but we are not sure why you're watching that so that's not explicit <clears throat> but I think so in our case it's going to be more of implicit why because uh, mm, because it's, it's I, I don't know how we can get the interaction from the user like hey I like this article hey I like this video so I'm not sure maybe maybe implicit or explicit but it's gonna be like implicit and explicit kind of feedback but it is going to be I think so it's, it's gonna be a hybrid model of collaborative filtering and content based filtering I guess but let's see uh, what are the pros and cons of both the approaches so yeah i mean on a high level i wanted to give you this update but if you have something which i could use to build this uh, ai product feel free to write me a comment or do write me uh, something on mirror board like when you click on the mirror board you can always write some comments over there for me Anyway, um, I hope you liked this video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up on the video and subscribe my channel. It really motivates me to make new content for you guys. Thank you.